All right, here we go. This one's gonna be a 380 auto test. Today we're gonna be testing out some atomic ammo. So for that one, it is the 90 grain jacketed hollow point. There's what that thing looks like. It is just your standard uh, XTP stuff down that case. It does have your nickel plated brass and is rated 1100 feet per second. So we'll see how close we come today. So we are gonna be testing it out of a Ruger LCP. That one does have that two and three quarter inch barrel. We'll be going through our gel. Those are 10% calibrated blocks. We do have our catch block behind that. So a total of 22 inches of gel. Our four layers of cotton t-shirt on the front. And like always, we'll set up our chronograph so we can hopefully pick up those impact velocities. So let's set up and see how this round does. All right, we're still back to 15 feet. All right, let's see how we did on that one. All right, so it looks like our impact velocity on that one was 1,006 feet per second. So it's actually pretty good to see. Rated right, was 11, but I'm sure that was out of a little bit longer barrel. Um, so for a 90 grain, that super short barrel, like I said, that is really good to see. All right, so there's the entry. Looks like I got a pretty good hit. You can see right down that cavity. It looks like a pretty decent star pattern so far. So let's check it out from the top. Oh yeah, definitely not too bad. So you can see it came in, started to uh, open up pretty good. You can see a little bit of disruption, not the most. Of course, it is a 380, so not really expecting too much damage, but definitely uh, pretty good. And we did make it into that second block, so that's actually pretty surprising because normally when I do test these, um, we you know we never get into that second block with a 380. So very good to see there. So let's uh, see what kind of measurement we have here from the top. Like always, we'll cut these open here at the end so we can get a little bit more accurate cross sections, but we are right at an inch and a quarter. So that's definitely uh, pretty good there for that. Same from the side. Hopefully you guys are able to see that. So pretty much same thing. So you can see it came in and you can see where it started to uh, expand pretty good. Nice spiral cuts going through. Looks like it carried through about maybe two thirds of the way through that block and it did flatline pretty quickly. And then you can see it resting down there in that second block. So let's see what kind of measurement we have here from the side. And from the side, we are just shy of an inch. So definitely a little bit less from the side than the top. Um, you know, weren't really expecting too much though because it is that little 380. And it is just kind of your basic XTP bullet. But there it is resting that second block. And at our leading edge, we are right at three and a quarter inches. So that is 14 and a quarter inches of total penetration. So like I said, that's definitely pretty surprising. Uh, so we're going to set up for a second shot and see how that one does. All right, we're setting back to 15 feet. Let's see what we did on that one. All right, so it looks like our impact velocity on that one was 1,003 feet per second. So once again, that is awesome to see. This stuff is super consistent. Um, definitely wasn't really expecting that, but you know, 1,000 feet per second for that little tiny pistol is awesome. All right, and there is that hit for that one. Looks like we got another pretty good hit. Just like the last one, you can see right down the cavity and a pretty good star pattern, so not too bad. So let's check it out from the top. Definitely not too bad. So it is this track here on the left. Um, you can see it came in, started getting some expansion. Got some really nice spiral cuts going through there. Did settle down just a little bit towards the end. And we actually did make it into that second block once again. So uh, 
good stuff there. So let's see what kind of measurement we have here from the top. And that one's pretty much exactly the same, about an inch and an eighth, uh, inch and a quarter. So uh, pretty identical and uh, really good to see. So let's check it out here from the side. Oh yeah, not too bad. So it looks like a little bit more damage here from the side. So came in, opened up. You can see those really nice spiral cuts. Tearing that stuff up. Same as that last one, maybe made it about two thirds of the way before it started to settle down in flat line. And then uh, you can see it resting down that second block right next to that other round. And from the side at our widest spot, we are right at that inch and a quarter mark. So uh, definitely good stuff there. Actually, you know what? That is an inch and a half. Um, so a little bit more from the side than the top. And there is that round. Hopefully you guys can see this one. It is facing forward, which is good. It's this one here on top. And at our leading edge there, we are right at three and three quarter inches. So I made it 14 and three quarter inches. It's a quarter inch more than that last round. Um, and like I keep saying, man, that, that's awesome to see. It is just your standard XTP. So we're not expecting too much damage, but uh, you know, it actually performing is a really good thing. So let's check these tracks one more time from the top. So the one on the right is that first shot. One on the left is that second shot. So here is that first shot. You can see it came in, opened up really nicely. And some really good disruption nice spiral cuts going through you can see where it did flat line and then we did make it to that second one hopefully you guys can see it it's this one down here on the bottom and our second shot same thing came in opened up probably about that half inch mark you can actually see where it's starting to open up getting those really good spiral cuts and we did make it pretty darn good did flat line and then that one also made it into that second block and is that one right there on that top so awesome to see there so let's pull these rounds and see what they look like all right check those things out looks like they both got some really awesome expansion so the one on the right was that first shot one on the left was that second shot so here is that first shot pretty much got picture perfect expansion there and uh you know for 380 that's definitely pretty surprising Pull those pedals right back you can see uh it does have quite a bit of gel in there but man that is super impressive because uh, it is kind of hard to get uh you know hollow points to expand consistently out of that uh, little tiny 380. um usually gold dot and hs2 do work great but man pretty uh pretty cool to see there and here's that second shot same thing absolutely picture perfect this one did drag a little bit of cotton t-shirt in with it you can see it right there in that bullet same as that last one though a little bit of uh gel still in there i will rinse these all out here at the end get better pictures but man that is uh definitely very impressive stuff for sure so we'll check them out one time from the bottom so the one on the right was that a uh, first shot one left was that second shot and last time from the top so like i always do we'll get our uh, screenshot slow-mo all that good stuff here at the end guys but there we go that one was at 90 grain jacketed hollow point by atomic and that was just your standard xtp round at just over a thousand feet per second good to see so first shot second shot once again thanks for watching guys all right so there's that cross section for that first shot that one actually did pretty good over a thousand feet per second you can see some pretty nasty star cuts in there same on this side so i did remeasure these they are peaking right at an inch and a quarter and averaging right about the inch mark so it's actually pretty good for that little 380. so let's cut it open all right, and here's after being cut. So this bottom is the right side and this top is the left. So you can see pretty much as soon as that thing came in, right, that quarter inch mark started to open up. You see that nice path going all the way through and it is tearing that gel up pretty good. Looks like it did carry in a little bit of that t-shirt, not too much, but definitely did drag some in. But check that out. I guess there's a lot right there. Looks like it dumped a whole lot of that fabric right there but you can see those nice splits so same on the top came in opened up this side you can see that path a little bit more but same thing man just really tore this stuff up i was actually pretty surprised um it was rated for 1100 feet per second but still at a thousand for that super short barrel definitely very impressive so not too bad so that one was that first shot all right here's that cross section for that second shot so this one's pretty much exactly the same Got some pretty good damage in there. Nice uh, kind of spider webbing going on down in that uh, cross section. Pretty good cut. So um, just like the last one, I measured those. They are peaking right at the one and a quarter inch and averaging right at the inch mark. So definitely not too bad. So let's cut it open. 
All right, and here's after being cut. So this bottom is the right and this top is the left. So you can see this one was definitely a little bit more delayed in opening. It's just shy of that half inch mark where you can see it kind of opening up. You can see that path going through. And the same thing, man, some really nice cutting and tearing down in there. Going all the way through. Definitely some impressive stuff. This side you can really tell what's going on. But check that out. Came in, started to parachute open. Nice cavity going through. And same thing, man. Just uh, all I can say is that stuff is pretty impressive. Um, it's definitely a tough round to find. And it's definitely a good one to uh, keep on stock, you know, just to uh, kind of have in your supply. Because uh, the way that it performed is uh, pretty darn good. So do one more quick angle. You can see those nice splits going down in there. And same on that side. And that little 380, I usually do pocket carry just to have some, you know, backup to backup is always good. Um, and, and that ammo might be getting stuffed in there. I normally do carry the gold dot, but man, that atomic stuff is pretty impressive. Even though it was just, you know, your standard XTP bullet. And uh, they normally don't create too much damage, but at that velocity, you can't really beat it. And that amount of penetration, definitely some good stuff. So once again, guys, that one was at 90 grain atomic jacketed hollow point. And that one was our 380 test. Thanks again for watching.